Hey guys, Jordan here with another DC motor. This one's uh, working really well and I just thought I'd take a look to show you guys. So basically what we've got is two permanent magnets on either side. Um, just some carbon brushes here. Got these carbon brushes from an old sewing machine. I'll just pull them out for you. Just sold it on the ends. This goes back in there. Get him back in there. Uh, this is just a cut off bolt and that's I guess the spindle in the middle. As you can see I've just put it on a stand. So it works just a um, basically these two coils. So it's 28 gauge magnet wire, 250 winds per each wound on my um, homemade coil winder which is pretty awesome. Um, you'll see there there's a little bearing in the middle there and then I've just got um, the commutator here is just two pieces of uh, just some old sheet copper just sold on either end now these coils are actually in series and just because of the way I put it in um, so we've got actually the same poles on either side so I've got north and north instead of north and south um, it was just by accident the way I put it in so I just made sure I oriented the coils using the right hand rule um, so as that way then I would know which direction uh, or which pole was on either side so this just slots on there so I'll just put them on give it a little bit of a push so you can see that's where they're connected in series at the front um, so to power it I'm just using a this is the charger just an old cheap um, drill charger. This is actually the, the drill charger that I use for my homemade coil winder and I'll chuck her on and we'll see how it goes. Alright. So you can see it turns well. Um, goes pretty fast, obviously just because of the height, it's a little bit unstable, so I just hold the base. I'm just going to mount it on a, on a larger base, and I'll disconnect the power. Okay, and then I'll change the polarity, so we'll change the direction. There's There you go. Uh, post questions down below if you like.